Hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, I have in here a linear something that could be nice for a linear actuator. Um, uh, since a couple months in the past, I started decide to selling things together instead of taking apart. This is a Pitman motor with 30 volts DC and encoder. It's got some uh, resist resistor resistors in there and some else maybe for I don't know the reason. Um, this is the connection for the um, four wires for the encoder. I don't know the type of encoder. Um, and yes, included the the timing bell, the two pulleys, and the al aluminum anodized aluminum piece. That's the thing. The aluminum is heavy. I mean for try to sell cheap. That's why in the past I removed the motor and sell the motor separate and this you know the the pulleys and timing belt separate and you know save the aluminum for projects. But well, it, this thing is almost ready. If you see this part in here, that one, this part is when you, when this was used for a laser, it's traveled very fast, and I use in 20 volts uh, only, not 30. And I'm let me show you the speed of these things, how it's go. See, smashing out of the corner very fast. I mean, extremely fast. This is nice for like build a um, X axis for CO2 laser, perhaps. The trouble of this piece might be if we go to the center all the way to the center of this piece is six inches maybe it's five and a half five and a half inches travel obviously obviously the whole piece it's an overall length of 9 inches and it's got a sensor right here so I try to build a C-axis out of this and sell it as a full axis but you know the, the labor involved is not going to be worth it for the price that I may charge if I, you know, spend hours on this piece. But um, if you put in here the two, take this off the little, the small uh, sensor, and put two uh, rods in here holding from the outside or from the inside with a tiny um, ball screws I have tiny bushings let me know I have tiny bushings to f may fit in one quarter inch rod and it's a perfect because as soon as you have the two small rods in here mounting you're able to build the little table on top of this it's one idea, you know, many. Um, I have to, 
I want to sell for just in 1999 the whole thing. I mean, it's a it's a very reasonable price. But the point is in the shipping. I have to charge twelve dollars. Why? Because this piece, the weight of the piece is gonna be more than two pounds of weight. More than two pounds of weight when in a prior in a parcel post is about a fifty to nine dollars depending on the zip code. Uh, actually, uh, I could let it go for eleven because if I I make boxes properly for it, for items smaller like this, you know, to save money for my customers. Sometimes I could ship them via uh, priority mail the small box instead parcel post, but this is large. This will be packaging close to the three pounds. And definitely, if I try to send to parcel post, will be nine to ten dollars. So, because I'm not gonna build a box, and the the or the real cost right now for the shipping in a medium flat rate box is ten dollars and eighty five cents. I want to charge eleven dollars, so I don't want to get anything for the shipping because you know the box is free the wrapping is I mean it's not got much and the time to package is I mean it's not a big deal um, and you have the, the advantage of if you like some other things into my my store I definitely combine shipping uh, as very as as much lower as possible. So let me just reduce the speed a little bit, about 10 10 volts. And it's still being pretty fast actually. Let's go back to four, seven because five might be not gonna work. It's gonna require more. And I use as a power supply with just my 250 milliamps, so it's very, very low amperage. So a little bit less, probably it's not gonna move. It could require more. Let's see. Yeah, it's moving. So I want to do just one more time at 20, it's going to smash in here, but it's going to cause any damage at all. Let's see. See? I mean, it's extremely fast. I don't know, the motor, RPM. Um, it is a pitman, very thick, about probably inch and a quarter, an inch and a three quarter in diameter. And the encoder is right here um, I don't want to remove it um, I don't know maybe because you know dust getting in and stuff like that people to know about those encoders they come in in the in many in many devices plotters and so on so anyway 1999 11 dollar shipping in a medium flat rate box and if you see something else on my store, or if you need the rods and the bushings, uh, the bushings are pretty good. I have pretty good ones, though. So you just need to build the housing, you know, small housing too. From many materials, aluminum, delrin and you can make some nice fast axis for um, you know I right away thinking in machine those two parts in here which is over the base in a milling machine and make a flat surface and then from there build and this is this is moving but as soon as you hold it to your system with the two uh, uh, rods and a bowl 
bushings, recirculating steel ball bushings. I mean, it's gonna travel pretty good. I mean, and you're able to mix as um, X axis for you know a small CO2 machine, or if you want to use as an axis or Z axis too, whatever. Um, well, this is here the adjustment of the tension of the belt. If you lose them, you have a room to increase or decrease the tension of the belt. Um, so once again, I show you that, and well, sorry to long make a long video. You have plenty of holes to hold the part. You have more holes on top of here. Um, and it's about um, yeah, the thickness is pretty good to make a holes and make a support for the rods and you know could be a really nice um, I just move those little things because if I remove those bigger ones and then the integrity of the straightness of the aluminum can be jeopardized so I just cut those pieces here and make this surface flat and from that star. I mean, that's why I said, I mean, I got it selling. That's what as you see right here is a note. It's been, this piece has been removed for a laser. I believe that is the way it is running very fast, moving very fast. So, well, uh, thank you. I'm sorry it's a long video. I just tried to be honest and tell you my idea and what could you do with it. Of course, you have a every every mind has a different ideas, and you probably know right away something you can use this item. I use a variable of speed, power supply. You know, I increase decrease the voltage. And that's it. To move them, I mean, but this is required 30 volts of uh, 30 volts and uh, of PDC. So, well, thank you for watching. I will take some pictures. 1999, 11 dollars in a medium flat rate box, USPS. Thank you.